So a couple of weeks ago, Nick told me he was experiencing some strangeness uh, with his 780. And basically what he said was every time he would launch a game, his CPU would go to 100% usage and his games would look like a slideshow, which I thought was very strange because in all of the troubleshooting I've ever done with graphics cards in the history of playing with computers, I've never experienced that particular scenario. So we're gonna go ahead and fire this up on the test bench here and we're gonna see this is obviously not his rig. So there's other things that could be in play. His CPU, his motherboard BIOS, all, or whatever drivers he has, whatever software he has installed could all be a part of it. So that's why we are going to go ahead and just see what happens when I put the 780 on a system that I know works because we just, we just did a video with this system. Do you wanna be cooler? Do you wanna be more desirable? Well, you're in luck because right now you can own your very own Jay's Two Cents swag and immediately be the cool kid on the block. Max out your sex appeal by following the link down below. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. So here's our splash screen preparing automatic repair. Um, yeah, test benches and things don't like being shut down by the power switch, which I've I did recently, so there's that. Come on, Windows. Oh, see, we just froze. Oh, the spinning wheel stopped spinning. It's never a good sign. And we just rebooted and preparing automatic repair again. So what we're we gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and go into safe mode. It's kind of funny though, Nick will confirm he saw this computer works just fine with the other graphics card installed, doesn't it? Yep. This started after we installed this guy. All right, so obviously safe mode works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by getting rid of the current NVIDIA drivers. Yes, uninstall the driver. NVIDIA uninstaller has finished. All right, so we now have no NVIDIA driver on here. Let's restart. Oh, see, and with no NVIDIA driver installed, look at this. And I wanna confirm that we have the correct driver. Most recent driver is the 390.77 and 390.77 was what was installed previously to this. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna try right now is I'm gonna try rolling back another driver real quick. So let me go to an older one. Let's go to like December 20th, 2017, like 388.71. So let me try that one. So Windows is working right now though because it just has its own basic VGA drivers that it installs. That's why we're seeing 1080p and all that. But if you right click, you'll see there's no NVIDIA control panel. So I'm going for a clean install of an older driver to see what happens. All right, moment of truth, new driver. Well, new old driver installed. Now, if this doesn't work, this isn't the end of hope. We've got another thing we can try. Because technically, if this doesn't work yet, yeah, and it just, whoa, wait a minute. So could it, could, okay, so at least the boot problem could potentially be the newer drivers. Okay, but we're in the system, but we still don't have an NVIDIA control panel showing though. So there's that. So I'm gonna do another restart just to be safe. Because if you right click and you don't see the NVIDIA options in the desktop, then it's not actually running the NVIDIA driver, which means we could still potentially have the problem we had before. Still have no NVIDIA driver. Hmm. What happens if I try and run a 3D program? It probably won't go. It's just freezing on the loading screen. It's all that tearing right there too. The driver is definitely, yeah, see now we're not responding. Well then, uh, okay. So you know, I double click NVIDIA settings, which is right here doesn't open anything. So like the driver installed, it says it installed, but nothing really happens. So I'm gonna try installing the driver on top of itself again. See if that works. All right, fingers crossed. I installed the driver on top of itself, hoping that something will happen. Nvidia control panel, nope. I don't know if it's the driver though, to be honest, it could still be many things. All right, so now I'm gonna try installing the newest driver on top of the bad driver. I don't think the driver install even worked, to be honest with you. Because when we installed the other driver, Windows wouldn't boot. Like it just kept locking up. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's different modes that your graphics card goes into based on what's happening. So when you're booting and you're going through BIOS test and basic VGA when it's loading and then it goes into desktop, it switches to a 3D mode. And that's why it could be locking up when it goes into the desktop. I can't even test Nick's gaming problem until I at least get this thing to get into a mode that will allow me to game. Because right now we're in basic VGA, so I can't even try and play a game. All right, unfortunately that didn't do anything. Now we're just getting the startup uh, repair loop again. So here we go, back into safe mode. 
Ah, oh, crap, I hit start up prepare. Anyway, we're gonna go back, we're just gonna repeat what we, you've already seen me do. I'm gonna go back into safe mode, I'm gonna delete the driver again, and my next step here is I'm gonna see if I can't get, I'm, I'm gonna try and update the ROM. So one other thing I wanted to try before I got invasive and started screwing with the ROM, because once you start messing with the ROMs and you don't have a backup BIOS, which this card doesn't have, because it's an SC, so it's based on like a you know, reference PCB, and if we brick it, then there's no getting this card back is I wanted to see what would happen here in Device Manager. Now you can see we've got a little exclamation point next to GTX 780 because it's telling us that the card is not working right. And then if I use the function you know, where you right click and say update driver because it shows update your driver, it comes back and says the best drivers for your device are already installed. So I wanted to see if Windows 10 handling it would maybe improve things a little bit, but uh, it didn't really help at all. Uh, so what I did was I just searched for the ROM file or the ROM version that's on the back of this card and I found it on Tech Power Up or v VGA's BIOS collection portion of Tech Power Up. So here it is right here, 783 gig SC with ACX cooler and that's our BIOS 8080 So I am just going to go ahead and download that. So we have our ROM file. So we've got our ROM file, we've got MV Flash, and of course our BIOS tweaker if we want to tweak the BIOS. Go in here to display drivers and we need to disable device. Yes, we're gonna disable our graphics card while we're using it. What that has basically done is it's basically told Windows that this device is nothing more than a basic VGA adapter, which is exactly what we need. We don't want any drivers or anything running. But the fact that we didn't even see the screen turn off and come back on tells me that no driver, even though one was installed, is working whatsoever. If there was actually a driver, working right now from NVIDIA, we would have seen that screen go black for a second and come back on, and then, yeah, so that didn't work at all. Uh, the difference on this one is it's a 64-bit version of MV Flash because we're in Windows 10, I guess. So we're gonna do negative, or minus six, which is bringing up option six, which is to ignore the subset mismatch because technically this ROM doesn't match this GPU. ROM.ROM, enter, yes. Okay, now it's saying here, warning. They don't match, are you sure you wanna do this? And I'm gonna say yes, they're only off by one number. So you can see it's a slight versioning thing. I'm gonna say yes, update. Okay, we're off to the races. We are now writing to the EEPROM. Now we need to see if this helped at all. Nick, I'm sorry to say if this didn't help, uh, there's no fix for this. It kind of really makes me wonder what went wrong. The ROM could have just foobarred a little bit. All right, so that's done. What we have to do now is our restart. I expect it to boot just fine. Question is whether or not we can get a driver to install. <laughs> There's no driver installed, so yeah, it's gonna be it's going into Windows just fine, as expected. But what that tells me is we just had we just had a successful ROM flash and update. So now it's time to see if this driver will install on here with this ROM and if it makes any difference. Like I said, if it doesn't if it doesn't fix it, then whatever. It was a cool science experiment. We can do drop test off the parking garage. See what happens to a graphics card when you drop it from two stories. If we do this, the internet can get mad at you, not me. For the record, I'm kind of against the idea. But we also have slow motion cameras that we could. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so while trying to install the driver right now, it just popped up and said that uh, Windows installer was currently installing something and I had to wait, but I just noticed we have audio, which can only happen through the driver. So there's, there's hope. I right click and I still don't see GeForce or NVIDIA GeForce driver on the desktop, but I'm gonna try installing this one more time. A reboot might actually get us somewhere. So there's there's slight hope here, because we, we didn't have any audio before, even when we had the working driver when we first installed it, like with the older driver, remember that? Kinda makes you wonder if this works, how many people have thrown out or RMA'd graphics cards that could have simply been fixed with a ROM update. Okay, so we just clean installed the latest driver after updating our ROM. If this boots to the desktop and we have a, a, a control panel, then we might have fixed it. If it locks up right here, I say we head to the parking garage and chuck this thing off the roof. Which do you hope happens? Parking structure. Uh-oh. It booted. Oh. Which, did, which wouldn't work before, remember? <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't work. And we have an NVIDIA control panel. See? Right there. Bam. So all of this has led to me just trying to verify the initial problem that Nick told me which is when the CPU would go to 100% when trying to game. So all of this has led up to me being able to start figuring out what was happening with his system. But I think it's all related, quite honestly. I'm just gonna bring up heaven, see what happens with this. 
Because remember, we tried to run it and it wouldn't go past loading, right? Yeah, it just... Well, because it tries to enable the game, gaming mode and it can't do that. There, look at that. Look at that. Well, what you just look at it? This is a good sign though, Nick. Potentially something that wasn't working is now working pretty flawless, isn't it? Yeah. Like you said, every time you loaded up this card, it would just peg out your system and you got a slideshow for games, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna do one more test here. This is Metro Last Light. I wanted to run Destiny 2, but it, I thought it was already pre-installed on here, but I guess it's not. It's 44 gigs worth of download. But as you can see, it's running just fine right here with Metro Last Light, which is still a pretty demanding title. Uh, especially in 1080p, it's gonna put some CP, a little bit of CPU load on there. Would this have worked this well at no. home on your system? No, not at all. Okay, uh, well, you know, the only way to truly test whether or not we fix the problem is Nick has to take this card home, put it in his computer, and see if this, the problem persists. If it doesn't, then we fixed it. If it does, well, then we're back to the drawing board. But obviously this video is up before that, so if you guys wanna find out what the results of this were, Make sure you follow on Twitter, follow Nick, because he's the one that's gonna go up there and do it. It's at Coconut Monkey. I'll put the link right there, and you guys can go and follow him to find out whether or not we truly fixed it. If we did, you're welcome. If we didn't, then we're gonna go up to the parking garage and we're gonna chuck this thing right off of the off the roof. But I think I don't think we need to do that though. We can see it's obviously working. Yeah. I kind of want to. Right? But in this given day, in this state of affairs with graphics cards, that would be extremely irresponsible. When have I been known to do responsible things? Anyway, guys, we're going to go. Thanks for watching. Follow Nick on Twitter to find out the results of whether or not this worked. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.